Hello and welcome to the South High Community Athletic Center in Worcester. Today is Saturday, March 2nd, 2024, and Holliston Hub HCAT is on the road covering the girls' varsity basketball action as the visiting Holliston Panthers play the host South High Community Colonels of Worcester in an MIAA Division II round of 32 playoff tournament game. My name is Steve Hedrick, and I'm here with our basketball analyst, Jay, the legend Wyman. And we will describe all the playoff basketball action for you. We welcome all our Holliston and South High community viewers watching our live stream. Before we get going, Holliston Hub HCAT would like to acknowledge all of our sponsors for tonight's game. Fisk General Store, The Henry Studio, Holliston Superette, The Grapevine, The Candy Cottage, and Guilfoy Art and Framing. We really appreciate our sponsors supporting our kids and we urge our viewers to support all these local businesses. How did we get here, Jay? Holliston finished its regular season at 9-11 and, and was seeded number 27 in the MIAA ratings based on record and strength of schedule. The Panthers hosted number 38 seed Bay Path RVT in a play-in game and won 49-30 on Tuesday. The South High Colonels were 19-1 and, and seeded number 6 earning a play-in by, and now get to host the Panthers in the round of 32. Jay, seems like we've been in this position before. That's right. Last year, Steve, we got in that, got in that game against Somerset Berkeley in that playoff game at home, won that game kind of handily, came up in the, the first game we, we met the uh, Foxborough team that was rated uh, fifth in the division back then. But uh, what they did is... Uh, they came out and uh, not only beat us, but the game right after us, they beat this same team from Worcester South, and then they went on to win the state championship. So we've been here before. We know how to do it. We know what, what we have to do. Uh, we're going to be up against the latte. The coach says this is going to be a big challenge because South High is one of the top teams in the state. They, uh, they have a tremendous defense. You are going to see a very fast and quick defense tonight. Um, they do a lot of fast breaks, and they're tremendous in transition. Uh, they have a lot of individual skill players. Well, interesting, Jay. I was talking to the uh, South High coach before the game, and I asked him how they did last year. And he said they were undefeated last year, and they didn't lose a game until they lost to Foxborough in the round of 16. So, uh, you know, they went a long ways last year, and uh, they're back at it again this year. Okay, we're getting ready for our starting lineups. Number one, Junior Kaylee McDonald. Number four, Junior Izzy Glenn Smith. Number five, Junior Captain Megan Simpson. Number 11, Senior Captain Megan Lyons. Number 21, senior captain Ava St. John. Holliston is coached by Kurt Lorenzen and assisted by Jeff Waldman. Here comes the South High Colonels. Number 21, sophomore Ava McCollum. Number 13, sophomore, Maddie Layton. Number three, senior, Anisti Robles. Number one, senior, Jayla Colon. And number five, senior, Naoma Blue. And uh, South High is coached by Diego McLean and assisted by Sam O'Gara.
Okay. Very nice rendition of the national anthem. Uh, so, so now we get to play some basketball. Yeah, the first quarter today is brought to you by the Candy Cottage. And you're going to see, as I said earlier, you're going to see some really outstanding defense uh, tonight by uh, South High. They're very fast, very quick. Uh, yeah. And, you know, the coach, coach said he's, he's really proud of the girls this season, that, uh, Coach Lorenzen. And uh, they won their first tournament game over Bay Path, and then uh, everyone stepped up. It was a team effort for the win. Um, even with a box and one, uh, Megan had 19 points and five steals. Sarah had 12 rebounds, and Sophie had 10 points. Sophie had a good game. She is not here tonight um, due to illness. Well, the only common opponent that these two teams had was Grafton. Actually, they had two. They had Ashland, too. Oh, that's right, Ashland. <laughs> okay, there's the jump. Uh, Holliston gets possession. Megan Simpson with the ball. Kaylee um, McDonald. And, oh, there's tight, tight south defense. Oh, Ava St. John. Oh, travel. she gets called for traveling. I wasn't quite sure what was going on there. First I thought it was a man-to-man, -man, then I thought it was a box and one, but then they came out of that, so not quite sure what the defense was there. Holliston opens up in a 2-3 zone. Okay, cross-court pass. Back up top. Uh, Jayla Cologne is running the point. We saw these girls uh, when we got in the gym really early today to set up, and uh, they are good shooters. Shot is no good by number 21. Yep. Yeah, stepped out of bounds. Uh, 21 is uh, sophomore Ava McCollum. It's going to be uh, South High's ball. Hollison's really going to have to control the boys tonight, Steve. They can't give this team second chances. And there's a three-point attempt. No good. Rebound by Kaylee McDonald. No, Kaylee's averaging uh, five rebounds per game, so... She's a great rebounding uh, point guard. Okay, Megan gets out of the double team. Okay, moving the ball. Simpson with a long Count point it. shot. And Holliston is on the board. Okay, we can go home now. Yeah, pull the plug on the <laughs> lights. Let's go. <laughs> Three to nothing, Holliston. 6.40 left to go in the first quarter. Brought to you by Carnage Candy Cottage. Hi. McDonald comes up with the loose ball. Nice steal. Okay, she's being pressured. Number 21, uh, Ava McCollum. Underneath the pass. Oh, yep, yeah, was out of bounds. I thought it went off somebody's leg in there, but yeah. apparently not. Kelly just went a little bit too deep. If you're going to go that deep, you're going to have to finish with a shot. Otherwise, you can stay out a little step or two higher than that. You can uh, hit your player. All right. Holliston in a 2-3. Okay, long shot by number 13. Uh, that's Maddie Layton, sophomore, with a three-pointer. And we got a tie ball game. Oh, there's a foul right there on Meg by number one. Okay, foul is on uh, Jayla, Cologne. Jayla Cologne. Once again, if you're watching, uh, this is a tournament game, so we have three referees working this game now. Okay, Holliston inbounds. They're pressuring McDonald. Oh, yeah. goes off of McDon uh, Megan Simpson. It's going to be a backcourt violation. Okay. Kaylee, and it's a good point. She, was, she hustled in to get the ball. She thought it uh, touched off of a uh, South High player. And even if it didn't, it's a great point to do that because what you don't want to do is leave, leave it alone for a layup. 5.57 left to go in the first quarter here. Three to three ball game. Okay, goes in. Good inside. defense. And nice defense. defense in Meg De Lyons. Interior defense from Hollison right now is playing really, really well. Okay, there's a loose ball and the drive for the layup. No good. South gets the ball. Blocked. Shot is blocked by Megan Lyons. Holliston ball. Great Girls job. Girls are working hard. Great job by Meg. Again, that interior defense. Okay, now number 30 comes in for uh, South, Nicole Jadoin. 
I don't know. It seems like the floor, at least when Meg is on the floor, um, Meg Simpson, it seems like it's very slippery. Kelly with a re-steal. No pass out top. Nice play by McDonald to save the ball. Goes in. There's a shot by Izzy. No good. Oh. Rebounded by South. And they're pushing the ball up the floor. Oh, a nice pass up the floor. And the rebound bounces. Uh, the ball bounces There's another out. foul. Let's see. With the scoreboard. I can't see from the, uh, the basket over there. But that's the second foul on. Oh, okay. second, second foul oh. on uh, South High. Once again, if you're just watching us new this year, the uh, five fouls in any quarter, you shoot two shots. McDonald has trouble with Whoop. it. Up, oh. Ball thrown away. Oh, and there's the long pass. Look down court. They look down court very well. Okay, now they're getting settled. Okay. Hollis doing a nice job pulling that, that travel. That's a really nice job by Kaylee. Hollis is doing a nice job, Stephen. What they're doing is they're backing off a little bit and giving them the opportunity. If they want to shoot from 5 or 10 feet beyond the three-point line, they're going to let them do that. But uh, other than that, Hollis is doing well. But this, this defense, you can see the swarming defense by South. You've got to come to the ball, and the pass has got to be really, really tight. All right, Simpson with the ball. One-on-one. -on -one. Drives. Now is picked up. Oh, oh, offensive foul. Get called by, for an offensive foul. Um, good defense by South High. Sliding their feet, getting in position. 4-13 left to go in the first. 3-3. Three three. Both defenses here right now are really playing very, very well. It, yeah, yeah. Okay, ball off of Kaylee's uh, leg. And we, talk about this, and we talk about this a lot, Steve. It's not just about stealing the ball. It's deflecting the ball. Whatever hap happens after that is great, but you want to always deflect the ball. Don't let the ball go where it's trying nice to Nice play. Steal. Kaylee McDonald intercepts the pass going into the post. Okay, she gets it, takes it all the way up, breaks the double, lays it up, no good. Ooh, ooh, almost gets Whoa. her own rebound. South Community comes away with it. Hollison back on defense. Hollison's transition defense was really line good. Foul jump shot, no good. And Meg Lyons comes away with the ball. South High is pressuring all, all over the court. And it's going to be Holliston ball. And a uh, sub comes in for South High. See what, what they're doing is one of the things. When I coached, I coached the same type of thing with swarming defense and everything. And you never have a player worry about not playing because they get tired and they call for somebody to come in. And he's keeping this bench fresh. Okay, nice. that was a nice play. It's going to be South High community ball. Great play by, um, by Lucy Bauman uh, previously. 3-12. Is it still 3-3 three three or am yep. I forgetting to keep score no, here? 3-3. Three 3-09. Three. Three There's going to be three minutes in this game. and Both teams are holding the other team to only three points. All right, long three-point shot, no good. Oh, good defense. Good defense by Ava. Okay. Oh, shot from yeah. underneath is good by number three. Uh, that's Anastie Robles. Oh, they missed it. Oh. They missed it. Hollison did have a player on the break, wide open. Okay. The Colonels push it up. They settle for a three-point shot, and it's good by number five, Naomi. Blue, three-point shot. 2.34 so left to go. In and it's 8-3. to three. South High Community is in front. Uh, so we've got a timeout here in the uh, first quarter, the Candy Cottage first quarter. So um, one of the things statistician Steve handed me a note, and uh, this... Um, South High community team is averaging 67 points a game. Okay. Some of their games, it's interesting. Talking to the coach, um, they've, they've won by big scores. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so that helps in their, their scoring. But they're also 
holding teams to 29 points a game. Right. So that's, that's a very tough defensive team. Well, when you're looking for the, uh, the point differentials, what happens, what they count, they only count a 10-point differential. If you beat a team by 40, it doesn't matter. They only count a 10-point differential. So it really doesn't reflect how well this team has played because right now, out of these 32 teams, this team's point differential is 8.8, um, and that's not even close to being right because it's, it's a lot, lot more than that. Ironically enough, though, their strength of schedule is uh, well below Hollison. Hollison's strength of schedule, Hollison's strength of schedule rating is 8.0 something. Their strength of schedule is 4. Point something. So, let's see what happened. They took a little equipment thing for Meg Simpson. Okay, they try to feed it inside. Yeah, and, and you, you're not going to be able to go across the lane with the passes tonight, Steve. They're just nope, too fast. Nope. The lay in, no good. Offensive rebound. Shot no good by South over the back, and it's going to be an over the back. Nice rebound by um, Meg Lyons. Third foul on uh, South. Holliston is working on a five-game winning streak uh, entering today's game. Uh, well, South High is riding a 15-game winning streak, <laughs> with their only loss being to Cathedral High, 60-46 uh, to 46 on December 27th. Okay, Simpson doubled up. On the sideline, and the uh, ball goes out of the bounds. Steve, this is going to have to be a passing game. This cannot be a dribbling game for Hollison because they're, they're going to double. Every time you're trying to dribble the ball, they're going to double you, and they're going to try and, and protect the closest uh, pass receiver. Okay, they, oh, they get it into the low post. Nice defense. Oh, Ava St. John with the foul. So we have um, number four. Is it number four there? I can't see. I think it was. This uh, is the, this, and this Brian Bascones. This, this is the ponytail effect too. So you can't see her number. <laughs> That's only a second foul on Holliston with 149 left to go in the first quarter. The Candy Cottage first quarter. Okay. And she makes the second one. All right, there's a full court press here, and the ball's thrown away. South High Community comes away with it. They look to the corner. There's a jump shot, two point shot by number three, uh, Anna Steve Ro Robles. Well, she's the staff. Okay, again, the swarm at half court. Megan Simpson with the three point Bang. shot. Count it. Keeping them in this game, 11-6. Hollison only down five. Two possession game with 116 left to go. Jay, I think that was a four point shot. It was so deep. <laughs> oh, oh, offensive foul. It's going to be an offensive foul on number four, uh, Brian Bascones. Um, a lot of these plays, they're calling close. They okay, are. so. But that's, that's okay as long as it's consistent with it, right? So there's a one, one, two, one. Full court press, and Hollison spread out. They passed it back across. Oh. Pass goes through the hands and out of bounds. You know, we're trying to watch that defense so much that uh, we t take our eyes off yeah. the ball. And uh, Okay, Meg Simpson goes out. And uh, Sarah Kutchman is in. So now you got to get your scoring from somewhere. Okay, number five with the shot. No good. It's tipped Big. out. Ava St. John with the rebound. Here comes LB bringing the ball up. You can't oh. do that. So you can't lob against this. It, it, it's got to be a real crisp, crisp pass. Yeah, really fast. Good steal. Oh, it's on the right back. And a three-point shot is good by Naoma Blue. Tw that's the fifth foul. She'll be shooting two. Is that Kaylee? No, I think it is. With that bad back of hers, that's not good to see. Okay, teams go to the sideline. Uh, South Community takes a knee as they, uh, Kaylee tries to get her breath. 26 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Um, 
Okay. Isn't that nice? The, the whole South Community team just helped her to her feet. I got to tell you, we came in here, Steve. This, this facility is beautiful. We came in here, and the people in this school, the, the students and the, the athletic directors, the, the, the faculty, uh, facility people, would, they just couldn't be nicer. They were really, really, really great hosts. Okay, so Megan Simpson is going to the free throw line uh, to shoot in place of Kaylee McDonald. Makes the first one. 14-7. 26 seconds left to go now. See if um, South ho will hold it for one shot. Rims out. South with the rebound. Okay, and there's another long shot. No good. Oh, and Simpson pull, pulls in the rebound. They're trying to cut her off on the baseline, but she's too quick. Offensive oh foul. Oh, my goodness. It's another offensive foul. That's two fouls on her right now. 12.5 seconds left. Wow. Boy, boy, this coach really subs in and out like crazy. Well, he's got a lot of players. He's got 15 well, players on the roster. And, you know, you're going to keep him happy by doing that. And, and uh, they're getting a lot of playing time. Shot from the corner. Nothing but net for number 13, Maddie Layton, a sophomore. I think that's her second second uh, basket. I'm not sure if it's, she has two threes or not. Yes, it is. So we got a 17-7 score at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, we're well, coming up on the second quarter, brought to you by Guilfoy Arts and Framing. Speaking of Guilfoy... <laughs> Uh, Bruce isn't here today, but he sent sent us two very, very uh, good people here. <laughs> Christian Boudet. We haven't seen Christian for a while. He's up there in the camera. And, of course, the great Tom Harmon here and uh, doing the computer work yeah. for us. And, and we really appreciate their coming out today and doing this because uh, working on the road is not an easy task. You've got to carry all the equipment, bring it in, set it up, and hope that it well, all works. And the <laughs> most important thing is you've got to find the school. <laughs> <laughs> well, well thing, Jay's limo <laughs> took care of that for us. <laughs> we uh, took left and we took right. And <laughs> so Almost got rear-ended once around some turnabout, whatever they call those things, <laughs> rotaries. All right. Well, well, you shouldn't hesitate, you know, when you're in, the, in a rotary. <laughs> Okay, um, what else have we got here? Okay, start of the second quarter, and you said it was the Guilfoy Art and Framing second quarter. Hollis right. stays in the 2-3, Steve. And, oh, ball into the corner, shot is no good. Rebound, boxed around, and South puts it back up. That's number two, Lalali Blount with a three-pointer. You know, it was 3-3 three to three just a minute or two ago, and all of a sudden it's 20-7. to seven. That's how quickly they score off this defense. Ava St. John with the Count shot. It. No good, and that's... Uh, who was it? Sarah Kutchman with the rebound and put back. Okay. Holliston still in there. Zone defense. Double dribble. Double dribble. So... Um, for most of the first quarter, I think Holliston was getting the game that they wanted. Yeah, um, especially defensively, Steve. Yep. The yep. the interior defense was playing very well, and they were getting all the rebounds. And and they weren't they weren't allowing South High to break out and get easy baskets. Oh, nice fake! Go oh. oh, shot, no good. Rebound, easy, and the putback, no good. Speaking of breaks, here comes South Community. South High, they move it. Nice up. Fake and the shot is no good, but Holliston commits a foul. 6.55 left to go in the Guilfoy out and framing second quarter. Okay, number three, Anesty Robles makes the free for her first three throw. You know, they're, they're everything that, that, that you know, the coach told us they were watching the game films at, at South High. You know, they're, 
They're so good defensively. I, I just love the way they play defense. I mean, they're everywhere. And it's not like they have any intimidating size out there either, you know. They, they, they just have incredible quickness, and they know where to be defensively. They're very athletic. Okay, Hollison getting the ball over. Simpson slips again. There's something going on with either with her shoes or with the court there. And it seems to be almost that same place over there in the foul, over kind of a little bit in front of the uh, scoring table. Yeah, yeah, she's gone t down twice over there. Okay, ball into the corner, into the post, back to the other corner. Shot is up, no good. Miss box out. Rebound, no, the put back, Ooh. no good. Oh, and over the back. Foul. Over the back. Over the back. Going to be Holliston ball. One foul on each team so far with 6.26 left to go in the half. Okay, a little bit of pressure. They get it up. There we go with the break. They take it towards the baseline. Back out, Izzy, looking around. Swinging around to the other side. And they come back. All right, to Simpson. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Trying I, to get going too fast. You know, it's funny because I thought she was going to just um, put it up from there. She did put one up about that I, far out before. Yeah, I thought she was going up with it right away, too. And I think if she kind of decided maybe it's a little, they can, mine's a little quicker than the, than uh, the feet. She can make those, though. All right, here we go. 5.57 to go in the second quarter. Oh, oh nice what a up nice fake move. and baseline drive. The, it rims out, but we got a foul. Wow, that's the second foul. Oh, on, on wow. south. Okay, it's going to be Hollison Ball. Again, facing the press. Okay, they go all the way over. High post back to Simpson. They swing it around. Oh, man. Yeah, we, we've got a couple too many turnovers. Uh, uh, well, and they're you know, they are, they are causing some of them, and, and some of them are uh, nervous, unforced. Yep, yep, here we go. All right. They're not afraid to shoot the three-point shot, no. that's for sure. Oh. Well, it's three and D, and that's, you know, oh, uh, oh, travel. I had that one from here. There Jay. you go. <laughs> you haven't lost a thing. I haven't <laughs> lost a step. At least as far Give as Give me a that. whistle. <laughs> oh, they just blew a whistle for you. Okay, and uh, number two, Grace Witten comes in. Gets it up to LB. Over to Grace. Oh, oh. Whoa. Come throw it. You're going to throw a pick for her so she can. Here's a foul. That's, that's the third foul on South right now. Still a yep. long, long way to go. 5-12 to go in the Guilfoy out in framing second quarter. Got to score off this, Steve. Got to score off this yep, inbound. Yep. Yeah, we got to get a hoop here. There it is. Into uh, Izzy. Shot was no good. Holliston back on D. So Holliston playing good D. Yeah, they have. And as I said yeah. earlier, it's that interior defense is they, they really are playing pretty well. You know, and they're missing their probably their best defender was Whoa. Kaylee. Okay, yeah, uh, tough. The, the shot was an air ball and, and it caught Izzy by surprise and, and just hit off her hand. She wasn't able yeah. to react quick enough. Oh, there's a cut down the oh. middle and the lay-in. Yep. Beautiful inlet. And that's by number four, uh, Brian Basconi's. All right, Witten into there the easy Shot is around the rim and out. Ava w with the rebound and put back. No good. Simpson grabs the loose ball, and she stepped out of bounds. Not a lot of room on that baseline. She was no. doubled and... Uh, they're fighting, though, Steve. That's what you love. They're fighting. They are. No question about it. 4.20 left to go in the second quarter. All right. Cut up to the middle. Swing it to the corner. 
Shot is no good. South with the rebound. See, that's that's the thing about a zone, though. It's kind of tough to box out because you really don't have a player. Oh. Ooh. oh, good play by LB to pick up the loose Great ball. Play. Simpson goes baseline. And she'll shoot. She's going to go to the free throw line. And that's the fourth foul. So if one more foul by South, and Hollison will be shooting two free throws for the rest of the quarter. That's a big, big it, thing. you got to make these points. Got to get the points while the clock's not running. Okay. Shot is up and in. Yeah, a little shooter's roll right there. Didn't that go in? Yes, it did. He's got a held whistle. Well, well not. Th oh, there it goes. I was going to say it wasn't oh. up on the scoreboard. Yeah, there was a violation on South here, and he had a held whistle while he waited for the shot to either go in or not. So she gets another shot. There you and go. And she makes it. 3.54 left to go in the second. 24 to 11, Holliston down. Uh, oh, nice deep. defense. Yeah, nice job. Meg Lyons. Good Mel, Mel is so important, you know, on, oh, on the defensive really side. Is. Both the, both the seniors um, really did a good job this year. Mel and Eva. Okay, the pull up for the three, no good. Mel gets the rebound and starts, comes out on the fly. Oh, gets it oh. to Meg Simpson. Pull up jump shot Ooh. is no good. Oh, and now here's South Community. Break on the break, and they lay it yeah. in. That's that transition. Yeah, Coaches talk about that all the time. You transition your offense, you transition the defense, and that just means once the ball turns over, you get it down, you hustle down the other end quickly. That's a foul. She'll be shooting too. That's a fifth foul. You know, the one thing when you get so many players that can play. Why is it? Wait a minute. She should be shooting. Yep. Oh, there yep. she is. Okay. You know, you get so many players on your bench that can play. They're not afraid of getting in foul trouble. No, not at all. But the problem is, is that you get those five fouls. Makes the first. Again, you know, you want to get these points when the clock's not running. And makes the second. Well. Meg's having a good night. Three, six, seven, eleven, eight, nine, eleven, ten, I think. eleven points yeah. for Meg. You got to get somebody else in the scoring column other than uh, you know, Sarah Kutchman's got a bucket. Well, what, what's happening now is that where Kaylee is out, um, Meg is going to have to do a lot of the ball handling. And if they if they're going to follow follow the person with the ball, that was blocked. Was that blocked by Meg? If they, foul, if they foul the person who's handling the ball, that means they're going to foul Meg, and she's going to go to shoot two all the time. So that's it's, that's one thing that's going to kind of help Hollison a little bit. Uh, oh, that, oh, that was off Meg's leg. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Tough pass. Okay, that last basket was uh, Anesty Robles. She's got eight points. I'll tell you what, the... And we got a timeout here in the second quarter. Uh, Guilfoy Art and Framing second quarter. Steve, the busiest guy here tonight is, is that poor announcer who has to keep announcing all the substitutes. <laughs> I don't know. Guy. I'm pretty busy here. You, you, can, know? you have been busy. Of course, you do hey. two things. You've been Steve and then, well, there's also statistician Steve to help you, but that's, that's a little different. Well, two. Jay, um, it, do you realize, Jay, this is HCAT's 20th basketball game that we've, we're covering this season. We've done 10 boys games and 10 girls games. All at home at our Hollison Fieldhouse except for today's road game here in Worcester. Thank you to the HCAT staff for all your efforts allowing Lucas Schachter, Tom Emmons, Jay Wyman, and myself to play sports TV announcers and have fun at it. What do you mean play? This is work. <laughs> you kidding me? 2.41 left to go. 
in the second. This is the best retirement job. <laughs> All right, South Community brings the ball in. South High with the shot. And round the rim and out. Good rebound. Simpson goes high for the rebound. Good box out. That's the foul again. There yep. she goes. She was shooting two. That's that's what I was saying, Steve. If they're gonna, if they, it looks like any time someone gets fouled, it's going to be the ball handler. And if she's handling the ball, that's, that's, a, that's a big plus for Holliston. Yep, yep. 2.26 to go. in the second quarter. Oh. By the way, Meg earlier in this game passed Kylie Lorenzen on the all-time scoring list for Holliston. And she's on her way right now after Stacy Hour. And she may get that, may pass Stacy tonight too. So sorry, Kylie. Uh, you, Kylie, if you dropped on the scoring list, and Stacy, watch out. But Meg's you, coming for you. But you didn't drop in our hearts. That's for sure. All right, good defense oh, by Holliston. Spin move. Blocked. Nice play by Ava. by Ava St. John. Here comes LB bringing the ball up. Dishes it off to Simpson. Kuchman with a nice... A nice pick out there. The ball is deflected as make a double. It's going to be Holliston ball inbounds on the sideline. Okay, the inbound to the corner. Simpson goes oh, into nice the inlet. post, the low post. It goes back out to Meg. Oh, that was your shot, Meg. She's shooting two. Two-point shot. She gets fouled. He's going to set the all-time record for free throws. Well, and she shoots them really well. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. No, oh, no, no. The I announcer's said. jinx. Yeah, thanks. 146 left to go in the second. Get that roll. There you go. Okay. Oh, Rolls in go. the second one. 14 points tonight so far. The first half for Megan. Oh, there's a travel. Travel, yeah. yeah see, I had that one too. Wait a minute. Did you say 14 <laughs> points? Yeah. She has now tied Stacy Hour in the all time scoring list? I think. If I can read my writing, I think that says 14. Okay. South Community really. There it is. The Take ball. that shot. There you Simpson go. Simpson wide open from the left side. No good. Oh, she reached. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's her third foul. Yeah, it's really. It's just a little time left in the first half. You might have to get her out of there. Yep. 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 You know, we talk about this a little bit. That what you do when, when you're playing the fouls, you get that, that, that third foul, you've got to really protect. You've got to protect yourself. When you get that fourth foul, then it's like you, you, you play the way that. Uh, that you would play without any fouls. Okay, it is into the low post. Uh, oh, travel. Nice call. See that? I could be a referee yeah. too. The only, the only thing missing for me being a referee is one of those shirts. And you told me you were going to get me one of those. Uh, you like those shirts, huh? 108 left to go. Okay, yeah. still full court press. LB with the ball. Pulls I up. Kutchman to Ava St. John. The shot is no good. She gets her own rebound. Muscles it up. Again, her Count own it. rebound. There and she gets fouled. Ava St. John. Padding the offensive rebound stats there. <laughs> nice effort by Ava. Okay, and she goes to the free throw line for one shot. Great crowd here tonight, Steve. This is an awesome crowd. Good. This is a the stands are full, almost full, and the people are standing all over the place. And we we talked to some of the people here, and they said, you know, I said, well, a lot of people come, and they said, oh yeah, this team is really good, and they are. And you know what it is? They're they're not just good; they're fun to watch. Yep, yep, they are. Okay, 
mid-range jump shot, no good, misses everything. They move it back around. Ooh. Oh, Blue measures that one. It's tipped around. South High gets the ball, no good. Kutchman gets a rebound. All right, Grace Witten circles the wagons, gets it to LB, up to Kutchman. There it is, Over take to the it. corner, Meg Lyons, no good. That's okay, that shot, you gotta take it. Open, you get open Wide shots open. against this yep. Gotta take it, gotta take it. All right, they pitch it outside, three-point shot, no good. Lyons had the rebound, but uh, South Community Crusader, uh, Colonel, knocked it out of her hands. They're not just quick, Steve. They have tremendous hands. They, they, they control their hand. You know, I, they do have a few fouls here tonight and everything, but they're they're really good with the, the hands. You, anything near it, they're going to get. See, like that. Yeah. Gonna, they, they anticipate the plays very well. And that'll and do that's it. That's going to be the end of the second quarter with uh, South High leading twenty. I can't even see the twenty-eight score. to eight. Twenty-eight 18. to eighteen. Okay, I think eight to eighteen. Uh, we, this is the one bad thing with these seats. I I can't see the scoreboard. <laughs> we should have paid more. And uh, yeah, well, we'll have to talk to Bruce about that, you know. And um, all right, let me find out where I'm supposed to be here. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. We want to just take a break and uh, yeah, as we come break back. from halftime. No, no, no. We got to do this right. As we break the halftime, we want to thank our sponsors for their support and urge our viewers to support these local businesses. This General Store, the Henry Studio, Holliston Superette, the Grapevine, the Candy Cottage, and Guilfoy Art and Framing. We'll be back in a few minutes with second half action. Welcome back for the start of the second half of tonight's game between the Holliston Panthers and the home team South High Community Colonels. With the score, uh, South High 28 and Holliston 18. I'm Steve Hedrick, and alongside me is Jay the Legend Wyman, and we're here with the Holliston Hub HCAT crew. Uh, Tom Harmon here on the computer, and uh, Christian Boudet on the camera. Statistician Steve is also here, and he'll give you the Holliston Super at first half stats. Okay, for South High Community, we have Maddie Layton with six points, uh, Naoma Blue with six points, Brian Biscones with five points, Anisti Robles with eight points, and Lali, Colon, uh, Lali Blount with three points for a total of 28. On the Holliston side, we have Sarah Kutchman with two points. Ava St. John with two points, and Megan Simpson with 14 points. So we have a halftime score of South High 28 and Holliston 18. Statistician Steve's scoring stats are brought to you by the Holliston Supret. Well, you know what, Steve? I think if, if they told you that you know you're gonna be lose your, your starting point guard and, and best defender, you know. Uh, Kaylee McDonald kind of early on and you, and you gave out a lot of way I don't know if maybe I don't know the transition points but I would say 12 to 14 transition points and you're at halftime and you're only down by four possessions I would say that's pretty good now you're going to have to cut down on those turnovers and you're going to have to start scoring some points here but if you can do that maybe you know a couple couple quick points and a couple quick turnovers you, you uh, stops and then, then a couple quick points you get an opportunity here to cut this game um, down to where it's, um, you know, winnable. Okay, all over Megan Simpson as Hollison starts with the ball up and then she stepped on the line. Going to be out of bounds, going to be south high ball. So I think you're right, Jay. You know, uh, Hollison has played pretty well in the first half uh, or, you know, and they've, they've contained the south high to up. There's a three-point shot by number 13, uh, Maddie Layton. She continues her hot streak. Foul on Holliston. Oh, no. I'm sorry. The foul is on uh, South. I can't see okay. the, who, who committed the foul from here. I don't know if you can see that. But. 
Yeah, uh, they're not putting them up on the scoreboard. So. Oh, all right. That's oh. one reason I can't see it. Okay, South High with the steal, and the lay-in is good by Anastay Robles. Yeah, five quick points off the defense, and that's what this South High team can do. They can score in bunches. Okay, Megan with Come oh, three-point shot from the corner. And with that shot, she now goes ahead of Stacy Auer on the scoring total. Okay, and number seven for number seven. Is it seven? Or, or, uh, I, I thought, thought it was one? two. I thought it was two. Oh, two? Oh. oh, nice hustle by LB. Loose ball. South High trying to break it out. Allison's got to get back quick on defense because these girls come out of transition oh, absolutely nice fantastically. Fade. Long three. Who was that? Who got I, that one, Jay? I think it was um, 21. Ava, was it 21? 21. Ava McCollum? Ava McCollum with a three. All right. So that's five, ten points here. Uh, to start off the uh, 10 to 3 to start off this uh, third quarter. Uh, third quarter is a Fist General Store third quarter. Jay, well, I, got, I got really bad news for you. You know, we're broadcasting this game, you know, and one of our, you know, our, some of our best viewers, I look around at halftime and they're here in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> they're here in the gym, so they're not home watching us. I think the whole well, McDonald family is here. Well, there goes the Nielsen ratings. Six and a half minutes left to go in the uh, third quarter here. They're brought to you by Fist General Store. This team just came out on fire. And that's what they can do. See, they can score in bunches. When, you, when your offense runs your defense, pushes your defense, when that happens, you really get to score in bunches for two reasons. One, you're getting the stops, so you're getting the consecutive baskets. And two, you get that transition coming in, and you're, making, you're getting some really good shots off of that, and they're making their shots. So they took a, a close game and, uh, you know, came out on a 10 to three run here. And, oh, nice save by Ava. Ball goes out to Simpson. She measures it from the top of the key. Front rims it, and here comes South High Community she, on kinda, the break. Yeah. And there's the lay-in, number three, uh, Anastay Robles with yeah. the lay-in. Now remember that uh, Meg Simpson has three fouls now, so she's going to kind of have to watch it. Yeah, you don't want to get anything silly. Okay, shot by Izzy, no good. you got to play, play with your feet instead of reaching with your hands, and you know, maybe you can pre prevent some fouls. All right, working the ball. Short jump shot just outside the foul line. No good. Meg Lyons with the rebound. Foul oh, on. We got a foul on Meg South. Lyons. Nope. On Ava, uh, Ava McCollum. McCollum. Well, Jay, the, uh, the winner of this round of 32 playoff game will go on to the round of 16 and will play number 11 seed Wakefield Memorial who defeated number 22, Long Meadow, 64 to 30. So, yeah. well, I like this team. I mean, oh, Ava puts it up. She gets fouled. She nice gets cut in the middle, gets a nice entry pass, and uh, Ava gets the shot off and gets fouled. She'll be shooting two, and that's the third foul on South with 525 left to go in the. <laughs> uh, Third quarter, fifth third quarter. Oh, I thought she was shooting. That's not a shooting foul. Yeah, I thought she was too. All right, number one with the late. Oh, yeah. poor more uh, Megan Simpson. She has. She had to do that, Steve. She couldn't. Couldn't afford to foul her. Yeah. Uh, out of bounds. It, it, Two things, you're kind of going to know where you were on number one. Number two, you really don't want to be that deep in, a, in either one of the corners because you get that deep in the corner, and they're going to, with that defense, they're going to get that ball, and they're really going to go after it. South ball, 5.09 left to go. Third. Hollison stays in the 2-3 defense. 
All right, they wing the ball into the corner. Long shot, no good. Up, oh, offensive rebound by South. Oh, over the shoulder pass to the corner, oh. and the three-point shot is good by number 13, Maddie Layton. Well, that's because you play a lot of basketball. You are, if you're playing a lot of basketball, you can see those things and do those things. Yeah, you get a good feel for the game. Okay, and uh, is he in the pass is intercepted? They, they collapse that. They collapse that. Um, that defense, Steve, and it's a long three-point attempt. It's going to be no good. Um, they collapse that defense. So your your post position player, you got to get the ball either quickly to them or don't go to them. Simpson launches it from downtown. No good. Offensive rebound by uh, Ava ball. St. John. And uh, she's tied up by number 13, uh, Maddie Layton. Let's jump ball, though. It beats South High's ball. Alternating possession. Boy, you, you know, you watch them the whole time. 28 points coming into this third quarter. And you look up there, and all of a sudden, with four minutes gone, they have 45 points. Boy, yeah. can they score quickly. They can. They can. Uh, and they're good shooters. They're good shooters. All right, they go uh, weak side, and there's another three-point shot. Hits the front of the rim. Hollison coming out. That's it. Zigzag. Oh, lays it up, and South High Community intercepts the pass. And there's going to be a foul. No shot. It's going to be on Izzy Glensmith. Um, getting back on defense. Good hustle by Izzy. Okay, who's number 15, uh, Lindsay O'Connell comes back into the game, comes into the game. She played really well in the Bay Path game. Okay, the ball goes to the corner. Now down low, back outside. Oh, oh travel. travel. Yeah, again, we that Bay Path game where, where um, Sophie Lynch came in and did such a good job. And of course, today she's uh, not here due to health reasons. And that, that stymies your offense a little bit, too, because she's one heck of a shooter. Yep. All right, South High Community with the steal. Ooh. And the pass. Oh, nice pass yeah. down low. And Robles with the two-point shot. Robles got six points in this quarter. Simpson with the spin. Dishes it off to Ava St. John. The shot no good. Rebound South High Community. Push it up the floor, set for the three, and oh, it's good by... I think that banked off, did that? Ava McCollum. McCollum with eight points in this quarter. There's a foul, so that'll be the fourth foul on them with 2.58 left to go in the fifth, third quarter. Next, next foul, Hollison will be shooting two. Okay. LB inbounding it. Oh, and it's intercepted by South High Community. And the lay-in is wow. good. I need a timeout here, I think. Yep. And that's, uh, who is that? Number 30, Nicole J uh, Jodoin with the last bucket. So, um, well, one of, the, one of the things that Coach talked about, Steve, he said that the, the team really needs to be strong with the ball and, and, um, and come out and meet passes. And one of the things they're kind of not doing tonight is a lot of lob passes, a lot of holding the ball out, and, and these south, the great south defensive team there, they'll come out and they'll, they'll steal that ball all the time from you. So you can't do that. You know? yeah. they, they, knew this, they knew this going in. But then again, these are habits that you've got to develop right off the bat from the, from the beginning of, of camp being in training right right through the season. and if, if you're doing that all season long, then you're going to do it today. There's, you're not going to be able to change that um, today. But that's what he was looking for along with um, being able to use the ball fakes, which we haven't seen a lot of, and uh, hustle back on defense, which Hollison really has done really well tonight, Got, gotten back on defense, their transition uh, into defense, rebound and, and play together. So... Well, I'll tell you, Jay, one of the high points of uh, this season for me, at least, and I don't know for a lot of people, Junior Megan Simpson breaking the 1,000-point mark on January 30th and watching her add to that mark every game. You know, and she's only a... Oh, intercepted by South. 
Megan's only a junior, so she's, uh, you know, can keep adding on to her scoring to uh, total. And she was also the TVL leading scorer this year. What was he averaging? 21 points a game, I think, Coach said? Yeah, 21. And did, th did she win that last year, too? Or did she come in second? Uh, she came in second last year. Ooh. And that's going to be a foul on Ava St. John on the play underneath. So you go. But, but she was, yeah, she was number two last year. Yeah. You know, and uh, and she hasn't, you know, the, the number one scorer was a girl from Medfield, uh, Katie Olenek. Oh, okay, yeah, and, yeah. And um, and she graduated, so. And speaking of Medfield, they're number one in this uh, division right now, ranked number one, so. There's going to be some good basketball at the top of this division, and I think this team's going to be right there with everybody else. Yeah, this is this is I, a fine team. And, and I got to tell you, I absolutely love the style of play. I love love it when the, your team is built on defense because defense is you're not defense isn't, isn't streaky. You know, defense just has a lot of consistency. Okay, pass gets through Ava's hands, and South picks it up. Now they work it around. Jump shot, no good. Hollison with the rebound. Grace Witten. Simpson is the double. Goes the other way with it. All right, back to Simpson. Oh, no screen that way. Gets it into the middle. The runner around the rim, no good. That, you're right, Steve, when you mentioned about getting the screen. You know, come out. You got to come out and set some screens for her and and let her let her get uh, some more open shots. She's really, she has to work too hard for the shots. Well, you know, and sometimes, you know, there's advantages to setting the screen. No good. Rebound by O'Connell. Sometimes when you come over to set the screen, you actually create the double by bringing your you, defender you can, over yep, there. You can. Unless you cut off the screen the right way, shoulder to shoulder, and then you're, you're in good shape. Okay, two-point shot by number zero, uh, Charlone. Simpson, shot is short. Okay, baseline jumper. Okay, this is getting out of hand now. Yeah. That's number four, uh, Brian. Bosconi's. Twenty-seven seconds left in the third quarter. Hollison moves it around. St. John weak side to Simpson. Foul line jumper, and she gets fouled. So she'll go to the line and shoot two. Either 18. way. Eighteen point six seconds left to go. Fifty-eight to twenty-one. You know, they, they've exploded for 30 points offensively, but they've only given up three defensively. Yeah. This quarter. Yep. And, and coach, their coach, um, Diego McLean, told me before the game, he says, our strong point is defense. Okay, she makes the first. Some new players in here. Well, okay. 35, Campbell Harris. Campbell Harris, Harris, our freshman. And shot is good by Megan. Awesome fall back. Staying in that 2 3 defense. Okay, the drive in the middle oh. on the dish off. No good. Oh, and the putback is good at the end of the quarter. And it's that ponytail thing. That was Brian Bascone's. So the end of the third quarter, it is South High Community 60 and Holliston 23. Oh, a couple, couple of the other girls this year, you know, Izzy, she, she's averaging close to five po uh, rebounds and five points per game. You know, you got to get that. That uh, if, if some of these girls can come in like that, and, and of course Meg Lyons is a senior, she'll be gone next year. But she leads the team with rebound with 6.5 rebounds and adding six points a game. 
Kaylee we talked about earlier, playing the great defense and leading the team in steals and assists and adding five rebounds per game. And of course, you mentioned earlier that uh, Meg Simpson has won the TBL scoring title with 21.7 points per game. She's adding five rebounds and three and a half steals per game. So, you know, the uh, they got to get more scoring. That's that's the thing, yep. you know. Yeah, we on, we only have one, two, three people scoring tonight. And, um, you know, you just got to have much better balance in scoring. Uh, and one of my other high points of this year was uh, the 49-44 win over to uh, tournament bound Westwood with senior starters Ava St. John and Meg Lyons out with injuries. Solid play by Izzy Glensmith, Kaylee McDonald, Sophie Lynch, Sarah Kutchman, and freshman Campbell Harris supported Meg Simpson's 30 point effort. You know, so, so that was a big win for them and it was a team win. Yeah. Th they had other people scoring and, uh, yeah, that's, and that's, that's what's what needed. Yeah. Now Meg's gone out, she went out one night and scored 40. So, I mean, she has the capability to do that, but you just don't want to have to have someone do that. Nice block by Campbell Harris. Ball goes around to the far corner. Three-point shot. Oh, oh boy. that <laughs> drops in, and that's uh, number 22, Sam Gomes. It's almost unfair when you get off the bounces like that. There's a foul. First foul by South in this quarter. What quarter is this, Jay? This is the fourth quarter, and they are brought to you by the Henry Studio. The Henry Studio. Okay, LB with the ball. Into Kutchman. Now they wing it around. Simpson with a nice baseline move. Puts it up, no good. It was a nice move, though. Something wrong with the clock. Uh, well, the shot clock is at 35 right at the moment, so it didn't didn't switch off. Didn't count. It'll down. take like six or seven, maybe five seconds off it. Oh, three. Okay, that's fair enough. 707 left to go in the Henry Studio fourth quarter. Okay, so they're working it around Holliston, still playing. Defense, working hard. The three-point shot, no good. Kutchman battles for the rebound. South High brings it into the middle, no good. Offensive rebound, Kutchman knocks it away. Another offensive rebound by South High. They go into the low post, back to the weak side. Oh, nice defense. Grace Whitten up, and South High steals it right back. Good look across the lane, and the basket is good, and the foul. Okay, number two, Lolly Blount. Okay. And Blount goes to the free throw line for one. And she makes it. 65-25. Okay. No press now. No press. LB with the shot. No good. Simpson tips it but can't get a hold of it. South High flying down the court. Man. And now out to the corner. Three-point shot. That's uh, number 11, Gabby Wazowitz. Into LB right underneath, and she gets fouled. Okay, 5.54 left to go in the Henry Studio fourth quarter. 58-25. Holliston with this. Oh! Somebody okay. Holliston inbounds. That's LB it. with that shot. It. No two, uh, I mean, it's good. good. Two-point shot for LB. LB's coming back next year, and we're going to talk a little bit about next year. I mean, they have a, a lot of talent coming back. They're going to miss two really strong players in oh. Eva and Mel, but uh, they got a lot of players coming back. Hollison does. Another offensive possession. You know, that's a, the one thing. You can't give up these offensive right. rebounds right. because they turn into scores. Well, second second chance points and transition points, that's what it's kind of been all night. 
All right, Simpson, long shot, no good. LB battles for the rebound. It tips away, and South comes away with it. Still pushing it to the basket. Shot, no good. Uh, Campbell gets the rebound and out to Megan Simpson. Puts on her Paul, uh, her uh, Jason Tatum move. <laughs> oh, the ball goes oh, out great, of bounds. Great hustle by Witten. So. Well, Jay, one of the things, you know, the growth of this team to finish this the season strong and win as a team is 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 a great thing. This team really evolved over the season. Um, they played amazing defense all season long, and uh, led by Kaylee McDonald and Megan Simpson. Shot no good. LB with the rebound. Alliston getting it up court. Simpson elbow jumper Count is it. good. You know, and, and when the offense started to come together, which was the end of the season, uh, this team really improved. Drive yeah. to the middle, and well, it's a travel. One of the things you always want to do in sports as, as a team is you want to always beat the teams you should beat and then play, try and play around at least 500, if not more, against, uh, you know, better teams. And, and one of the things they did accomplish this year was they really beat the teams that they, that they should beat. And that's that's a testament to the team and the, and the coaching. And and you were right, Steve. There was, ooh, there was oh, there's a around, the rim, around the rim twice. Kutchman with the offensive rebound and put back, no good. You were right, because you know this, this things weren't really looking too good too early in the season for this team. But they they came back and they they did a really really nice job of, between the, the girls and the coaching staff of putting together that win streak and getting into the playoffs. Simpson, fall away three-pointer, no good, goes out of bounds. Uh, yeah, and the, uh, the offense really came along with Izzy and Mel and Sophie uh, and Lucy Bauman when, when their offense started to improve. Um, and we've got great bench players that really are making progress. Campbell Harris and Sarah Kutchman and Lindsey O'Connell. You know, they've been coming along very well. And what, what these girls are going to have to do over the summer, over the over the off season, they're going to have to get some kind of a weight training program, build up build up their legs, build up your, the shoulders a little bit, and um, and work on one of the things court awareness. Where are you on the court? Where should you be on the court? Work on your ball handling skills. Work on your free throws, and then of course work on your shooting. Simpson, fall away on the baseline. No good. Ooh. The offensive rebound and put back. I think that was Kutchman. Was no good. Yes, Sarah's got some uh, good shots tonight. And it's going to be Holliston ball. Um, we also have now uh, number 31, sophomore Kira Lucas is in the game. Young team. This Holliston team, young. They got... A lot of experience coming back in two straight years of playoff experience. Count it. Sarah Kuchman. Sarah Kuchman with another hoop. Okay. Oh, nice move. Who is that? I can't, you know, these numbers on these shirts are I know, so hard it's, to it's read. Tough Number to see. 20, Gianna Estevez. She's a twin on the team. Simpson to LB. Simpson with a long three-pointer. Oh, off the rim and out. And it's tied up. I, I have a feeling that next year, one of the things that, um, that makes Simpson's going to be able to do is stretch that defense even more because she's three or four feet off of that line. And if she can get four to five feet after that three-point line and, and consistently make shots, she's already real, so tough to stop. It's going to be very, very tough for anyone to stop her. Well, the thing is, they got it. They have to have. She has to have help. People, other people to score, so she doesn't have to face the doubles yep. and the. 
and that's what they got to work on in you know the interior scoring and not just I'm not talking about just going out and putting up three point shots all the time it's to get that interior scoring working a little bit get the free throws working a little bit some of the players in here all right, Grace Whitten comes in, and Lindsay O'Connell comes back in. And they had they had a little little bit of talent down on the um, a very very young JV team, a lot of freshmen, loaded with freshmen. So it's a it's a commitment thing, Steve. You, you know, you, you have to kind of commit to basketball. You can be an athlete and come and play basketball. If you're going to be a basketball player, you've got to kind of commit to to basketball. And you do that, I'm I, I really think this team can go places next year. Kira Lucas has her shot blocked, goes out of bounds, going to stay Holliston ball. 128 to go in the Henry Studio fourth quarter. Oh, nice cut down the middle of the pass. Ooh. It goes out of bounds. Yeah. Uh, Izzy couldn't hang on to it. Once again, we want to thank our crew today. Christian Boudet who came in and helped us out on the camera. And uh, Tom Harmon, the computer guy over here. <laughs> Does a good job, Tom. Thank you guys, both of you. All right. South community slowing it down. 107, long shot, no good. Simpson runs it up the court, gets a double, gets it away. South picks up the loose ball. Look down. Oh, look down. You got to play it down here. Look down. Oh. Oh, nice hands. Deflects it right out of the hands, and that's. Well, they got to get new shirts, or I got to get new glasses. Number two, Lolly Blount. Whoa. There's a foul. That's only the fourth, though. 34 seconds left to go here fourth quarter. Once again, I read off our sponsors for this year. We really thank them a lot. Fish General Store, the Henry Studio, Holliston Super at the Grapevine Candy Cottage, and of course, Gilfoy Art and Framing. And we also want to thank Bruce Gilfoy, who's done a great job setting a lot of these things up and helping us get, get the, these two guys who we have today, and of course, uh, Lindsey Crane, and she gets up, she gets up there, up, up high above courtside. She likes it up there, I think. You know, she gets yeah, up high yeah. So, she's helped out, and of course, Bruce is done and helped out a lot too and you had mentioned Lucas and uh, who just really did a good job we're going to lose him next year he's he's a senior he's going to be moving on yeah he's going to graduate and hopefully then, and uh, then you brought back uh, the great uh, football play caller of all time Tom uh, Emmons Tom Emmons did a great job so. in, in in your place the other night and um, and actually we still have one more game to go, Jay. Yeah, there is one more game. We are doing the unified basketball game uh, coming up in the middle of March. March you know? 12th. Yep. I think it's a 6, six, six o'clock game. Yep. yep, March 12th. So look for details on that. We're looking forward to doing that game. Um, uh, matter of fact, it'll be myself and Brian Winston. There you go. We'll Brian. Doing that game. We haven't seen Brian in a while. He's really good. Long three-pointer. Ooh. Front rims it, goes to the other corner. Grace Whitten with the rebound. Lindsay moves it to Simpson again with a jump shot. There it is. It, she makes it, a two-point shot. And that's the way to end the season right there with Make Simpson. Who else making the shot? Okay, Hollison with control of the ball. Four seconds to go. I'll let it go from there, Megan. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, I really like this team. I, this team they played today with... A very, very good team. And, you know, Holliston put, did put up 33 points. They gave up 76. That third quarter was just, uh, gave up, I thought, 27 or 28 points in that in that uh, third quarter. And that really and did I, them in. And it was early in the game that Holliston really hung with them, you know, and played really well. Um, only gave up 17 points in the first quarter. Only down 10. Um uh, so now we go on to statistician Steve and his uh, scoring stats brought to you by the Grapevine. And we have four, and this is all unofficial because we're sitting up in the stands and uh, we got papers falling all over the place. 
Okay, so for uh, South High Community Colonels, uh, Nicole J Jodoin with two points, Sam Gomes with three points, Ava McCollum with eight points, Gianna Estevez with two points, Maddie Layton with 12 points, Gabby Wozowicz with three points, uh, Nayama Blue with six points, uh, Brian Bascones with 11 points, uh, Anasty Robles with 14 points, uh, Lolly Blount with 10 points. Jayla Cologne with 4 points. And Lydia Shalon with 2 points. Possibly a total of 76. I don't know. On the Holliston side of the ledger, uh, Lucy Bauman with 2 points. Sarah Kutchman with 4 points. Ava St. John with 2 points. And Megan Simpson with 23 points, moving her into... Um, Third place on the Holliston 1,000-point scoring list ahead of Stacy Hour now. Uh, so final score was 76 to 33. Any final thoughts, Jay? Well, I want to, first of all, Steve, thank you. You've done a great job putting this whole thing together for the course of the year, both for the, the boys and the girls' games. And you did so much uh, doing the doing the play-by-play -play as, as well as um, you know statistician Steve over here keeping the points and even probably even more importantly to be quite frank with you you did a great job refereeing from the bench <laughs> you, you held me you held me in in place and uh, kept me from doing this we want to thank you Steve uh, on behalf of this uh, HCAD and also once again thank our crew here tonight the great Tom Harmon and the incredible Christian Boudet yeah, well, thank you, Jay. It's always great having you by my side, you know, and, and covering for me. Uh, well, statistician Steve is keeping score and uh, doing all that stuff. So it's been a fun year, you know, and uh, we look forward to next year. See you March 12th at 6 o'clock. We've had a lot of fun covering these Lady Panthers, and we thank them and congratulate them for all their hard work and success. That's going to do it for Jay Wyman and our entire HCAT crew. I'm Steve Hedrick, and today's final score was South High 76 in Holliston 33 in the round of 32 playoff games. Thank you for watching Holliston Hub, HCAT Sports Network. Good night now. <laughs>